Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I'm an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here no harm no foul but I'll remember our time fondly. Why hello my little cherubs. Lately I decided to throw a little wrench in the system and do more try-ons. I love doing reviews but I was kind of getting tired of like the same thing ugh, over and over again and I really love the idea of being a little bit more informal. Trying makeup, working through the kinks, and sharing weird stories along the way. While I have had an overwhelmingly positive response and I'm super thankful for that. A lot of y'all have been asking me like hey can you give us an update on some of the products that you've been using? Hence why today's video is happening. Now when putting everything together I noticed <laughs> <laughs> I have used a lot of products over the past two months. I figured it'd be easier to break it down in three categories. Amazing eh, and no. So with that said in today's video I'm gonna break down all the amazing products. All the meh and no. <laughs> I just like to no. All of those products are going to be featured in Wednesday's video. So with that said, some of these may surprise you, some may not. We may not have the same opinions on everything and you know what? That's fine. Just know that you're wrong. I kid. Not really. <laughs> Anyway, before I break it down to you and let you know all the amazing products that I've still been loving, a word from today's sponsor. This episode of me being a garbage silk covered princess is brought to you by Blissey. Blissey's back y'all. I have been talking about them for a long time now. And I love that so many of you have decided to take the plunge and join me on the silk revolution for better skin, hair, and a much more enjoyable sleep with these cool to the touch pillowcases. Blissey offers 100% mulberry silk pillowcases. <laughs> Sorry, this one's getting ahead of me. <laughs> kind of feel like it's a tiger. Just <laughs> down boy. These are completely natural, hypoallergenic, and designed by a team of experts that does wonders for your overall health while you sleep. So many of you pumpkins have been complimenting me on my hair and my skin as of late. Well, actually not of late, like for the past like six months or so, just I am. <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> and Blissey is one of the contributing factors that helps me get carded for alcohol. Thank you Blissey. If you're skeptical baby don't be. Blissey offers a 60 day trial with a money back guarantee and with over 80,000 verified five star reviews and over a million Blissey customers and counting. Trust me when I say you're in good hands with Blissey. Now of course you could totally be selfish right and just get these pillowcases for yourself. We love self care on this channel but these also make for fantastic gifts and it's really the perfect gift for anyone this holiday season. With the variety of colors you can't go wrong this is literally giving me like 90s fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> okay this is a little red shoe diary and I love it. And they also come in these sleek boxes so for example this is the rose gold pillowcase. If that is not luxury I don't know what is. And if you want to be extra lovely throw on a sleeping mask as well which they do come matching just saying. Trust me when I say these are a game changer. Never would I ever thought I'd be sleeping with a face mask but I do because baby is bougie. <laughs> Baby doesn't like light and even though I have light blocking curtains somehow light still gets in the room. I don't know how. These are a godsend. So take the stress out of gifting this season and get everyone a gift they never knew they needed. And with Black Friday, Cyber Monday and just you know basically all of December <laughs> you can click below and use my link for an extra special coupon where you can get up to 55% off your order. You're welcome in advance. Thank you again to Blissey for sponsoring today's video and y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage queen okay and also take care of yourself and I guess loved ones you know if you're into that whole gift giving thing. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I've been doing quite a few try-ons. So in today's video I'm going to be focusing on the products that I featured in September and October. I have done a few videos in November but I'm still kind of feeling it out there. So those products will be featured next month. So with that said let's start with skincare. Yo can I, yo, ew. <laughs> I'm like yo let me tell you about this. Seriously let me tell you about this. This is a brand I've discovered this year and it's called Kovo. Y'all know I love CBD skincare it's no surprise and this doesn't disappoint. There are two products that I want to talk about today. One I actually just got a new one of because I just finished the other but the first one I want to talk about is the hydrating mist toner. Their toner has bakuchiol which I love. I love that and now I know how to say the word properly. Watch I'm not saying it correctly and then I'm gonna feel like an asshole but whatever who cares. I love Bakuchio. Now I'm second guessing myself. Anyway I love it because it's an alternative retinol and it doesn't fuck up my skin. It's hydrating. It's refreshing. I love the mister on this. The scent is like a cucumber rose which um, it's very very light because I don't have the best sense of smell but it just feels and smells refreshing like I've been in a spa all day. It calms my red skin and it just preps everything so well. This is the first step in my makeup routine. This does not 
not disappoint. The other one, which I have not opened yet because I just got it. This is the CBD Probiotics Ed Bucuccio facial serum. When I immediately buy something, that is when I know this is a product for me. I've been getting more and more into skincare. The older I get, the more I don't want to see um, lines on my face. <laughs> I don't want to see those student loan stress lines. So I have been playing around with a lot of different skincare and these two as of late have been standing out for me. This is another product that just makes my skin so smooth. And again, with the CBD in it, it just calms my red skin. It keeps me hydrated. I have a nice, beautiful, youthful glow. And I love that it has been really smoothing out my fine lines. I do have a couple of little problem spots, especially around here. And I look at pictures like say six months ago or so, they felt a little bit more defined. These, I felt like lately, all the stuff that I've just been using has just really just been softening this up and I fucking love it. So these are gonna be two things that I'm always gonna be constantly buying. These are fucking awesome. My sensitive skin babies, these are for you. The other one I wanna talk about is from Ritual Defi and this is their hydrating uh, skin mist. This is, oh, it's so good, it's so good. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little apprehensive um, when first using this because it's a little scary, right? I mean, it's so fucking cool looking, but you're thinking like, oh my God, this red shit's gonna kinda get all over my face and it's gonna look a little funky. So initially I was just really using this as skincare, like a part of my skincare prep. But then I was like, you know what? Let's throw caution in the wind and let's try this as a setting spray and I can't go back. I love it because it provides a beautiful radiance to my skin without it being like oily or messy and it really locks shit into place. The only thing I wish is that this came in a bigger bottle because I find myself really going through it. So I only have a little bit left in this one, but I do have a backup. During the Black Friday Cyber Monday sale, I plan on like literally buying six more of these. I can't live without them. <laughs> and now if you're ever interested in wanting to try this, I do have an affiliate code for Cyber Monday. And if you use the code TRISSESDEAD20, you get 20% off on anything and everything. But do yourself a favor and get the thorn oil and get the thorn milk. You'll not be disappointed. You will thank me later. And also how fucking cool does this look? Oh my God, okay, I kind of want to like spray my face with it. <sighs> I love it, so good. So let's move on to makeup and I'm gonna start with complexion products first. All the products I'm gonna be mentioning are top notch, obviously. They give me everything I need and want in terms of coverage and overall feel. For reference, I have dry dehydrated skin. And if you don't water me every day, I will grow into a fucking tumbleweed, true story. So what I usually look for is something that is hydrating. So I'm gonna start with BB creams first and that of course, I mean, are we surprised, Dr. Jart. This is so good. I was a little scared because this also came in like a black packaging and there was only two shades and then it disappeared and I was like, oh my God, no. But then it kind of reincarnated in a way into this. And I believe now there's four or five shades, which obviously is not the best shade range, but a vast improvement from the initial product. This is one I just, I honestly, I just can't put down. While it says that it's light coverage, this really has more of like a medium to like a high medium finish. It hydrates, it conceals all my sins. I love that it has niacinamide. I love that there's SPF 40 in it. This true Really has like a really just beautiful hydrating finish that conceals all my sins away. And the same goes for Super Goop. This is awesome. The CC screen, the 100% mineral CC cream SPF 50. This is fucking fantastic. Never heard about this product ever. Never heard about it. And then I saw it on flip and I was like, oh, all right, guess we gotta try it. So goddamn good. Honestly, this is perfect for this bog ass state that I live in. I love the coverage. I love that there's SPF in it. And this product has incredible longevity and it's amazing in the heat. But if you're looking for something with like a little bit lighter coverage option, right? We have Summer Fridays. This has also been wonderful. The sheer skin tint, this really exceeded my expectations. The first time I tried it, I was like, oh shit. But the more I try it, the more I realized, oh, this is a fucking staple. Well, it has very good coverage on its own, definitely on the lighter side, but it can cover a nice amount of redness and any imperfections. I think when you pair this with a high coverage concealer, nothing will ever get in your fucking way. This baby doesn't settle into your fine lines and it just makes you look like your skin, but better. However, I think out of all of these products, my favorite, House Labs. House Labs is fantastic. And I know I mentioned it in a couple of videos, but like, this is so fucking good. <laughs> this is so good. Initially when this brand was gonna rebrand, I was like, oh man, I hope it's not gonna be like as bullshit as the Amazon line. And I'm so happy that it's not. This has excellent coverage, excellent longevity. It feels so good on the skin. It's almost to the point where I don't wanna take it off. There's been many days where I contemplated looking into the mirror and going, mm, I could go to sleep in this because I just didn't wanna see the red face monster underneath. <laughs> This has really good coverage. And again, just really good longevity. All of these products are awesome, but like if I had to pick one, this is my bitch right here. She is everything. House Labs, I need them to come out with a concealer because if it's what I think it's gonna be, it's gonna blow my makeup dick out of the water. Okay, like I'm so excited. As for concealers, I really still like the Milk Makeup one. The Future Fluid has a weird yet fun sexy name, but the thing that I don't like about it is I hate how it looks under my eyes. I think it just looks really fucking scary. <laughs> 
it looks like I've seen the Ark of the Covenant, not cool. But when I use it all over the face, oh my God, this is awesome. This paired with the Summer Fridays, I literally can't be stopped, okay? Go ahead, do what you will. Like you will not fucking bring me down. <laughs> I could be bursting into flames. I will still look amazing. This is like, give me full coverage without giving me full coverage, okay? Like, this is awesome. But this just as like an overall face concealer, stunning. It's brightening. It's hydrating. It really provides great coverage, has great longevity. This is something I will fucking repurchase every goddamn time. This is awesome. And I also like that it looks like a little chode. That's cute too. But I think the one concealer that really just looks good under my decrepit gross eyes is the Charlotte Tilbury. The Charlotte Tilbury. Usually I don't like this brand's complexion products. They usually really just look awful on me. This has been a miracle worker. It hydrates, it doesn't settle into fine lines, has really good coverage. It doesn't dry out, it doesn't feel tight. And yes, there is a brightening aspect to it, but it's not so brightening where it just looks like a goddamn beacon of light where it just looks so unnatural on the skin. It just really creates like this really beautiful pinpoint of light. It's kind of hard to describe, but this is fabulous. And another product that I'll happily repurchase time and time again. Usually I don't have the best of luck when it comes to concealer, so the fact that I found two, I will fucking take it. But I am gonna repeat something because I feel like it's really important. This does not settle into fine lines. So something to think about if you are looking for a concealer that doesn't settle into fine lines. Now, talking about powders, obviously no shit, House Labs, right? Like House Labs, if this was like a little award show, House Labs would be killing it. I've loved everything that I've tried so far from the brand, except for those weird fucking paint things. They were just, they were, they were too much. They were too much for me. <laughs> but this is a fantastic loose setting powder. So much so that I have a fucking backup that I purchased during the Sephora sale. This melts, this blurs, and this doesn't have the capability of being like overly drying or cakey. This lightweight powder just melts beautifully into the skin and just makes your base look like butter, hence what I have on my face today. I'm still obsessed with this. Yes, this is coming in the makeup grave with me. I fucking love it. But then of course we have this one. This is a fucking surprise for me. So another product from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Airbrush uh, Brightening Flawless Finish Setting Powder. Now my heart broke when uh, Becca went under, okay? Because they make, hold on, they make <laughs> the best under eye setting powder. I have a little bit left and then I have another one over here, okay? Stock is running low. <laughs> so I've been on the hunt to find something that is going to do everything that I love about that product. Again, dry ass skin. I don't like using a lot of powder because it dries me out and just makes me look like a dusty fucking mummy. When I use the Becca powder, it just melts beautifully brightens the area and the concealer lasts so much longer with the powder when I tried this I was like oh my god angels were singing <laughs> I thought oh my god this is a fluke obviously ever since that moment I first tried it I think back in September this has just been a staple yes I can technically set my face with it but it does look a little bright but so I think for me this will always just be really good for under the eyes if they ever stop making this I will fucking riot it's so funny no matter how much powder you use it's never going to look again overly drying and cakey very similar to the house labs it just it blurs and brightens and it's just it's perfect it's absolutely perfect so yes this has become my ride or die and if again they stop making it i will riot so kind of staying in that same vein let's talk about face palettes before we move on to bronzers and blushes and bloopity blah blah you know obviously i think the clear winner for face palettes this year is hourglass like these are fucking good they are phenomenal and i know i've used them quite a few times in videos and i continue to use them behind the scenes i brought this one with me when i was on the cruise it was the perfect palette for me now granted this is the butterfly palette but i put it in the tiger packaging because the butterfly scared the shit out of me <laughs> and i don't know if you could still get it like that but if you can i totally invite you to do so because fuck butterflies <laughs> Okay, either put it in the elephant packaging or the tiger packaging, but the tiger one is just like giving me like weird Gucci vibes and I love it. I feel like a fancy bitch. Anyway, the butterfly one, it's just, it's perfect for those that have fair skin. So if you are a fair skin monster like myself, this is going to be your bread and butter. For the longest time, I think I really had that one palette. I think, I don't know if it came out in 2018 or 2017 on a pedestal and uh, that got dethroned, bitch. <laughs> This is hands down the best hourglass palette I've ever played with. And yes, while it doesn't have a bronzer, I don't really fucking care, okay? Because usually hourglass bronzers are always warm leaning anyway. But I don't mind that it doesn't have it because I love all the finishing powders. The two blushes are still great. The highlighter, bitch, okay? This alien slut motherfucking gold, it's so good. Now there is another palette as well. It's the elephant one. And I like it. I do. I like it. But I will say that the fucking butterfly one kind of has a chokehold on me. The only one in this palette that's a little bit dark is the highlighter for me. The highlighter definitely is just like, mm, it's noticeably dark on me. So that's one shade that I can't use, but everything else is fantastic. I do like this. I really do. And I'm happy that I got it. I think I'm going to buy a backup of these. That's how much I like it. 
I'm gonna buy another one. Okay, hold on a second. Speaking of another face palette that I'm still in love with and it's kind of a shock, is from Natasha Denona. First of all, the My Dream Collection. That whole collection is fucking phenomenal. I can't even believe what I'm saying. <laughs> Usually I have so many issues with Natasha Denona, but this whole collection, nothing disappointed me. Everything from the lip products to the eyeshadow palette to this little guy, everything was fucking great. I love this one because the blush, the cream blush is very good. It's definitely better than the cream blush that was in last year's holiday palette or maybe the year before, I don't know. Whatever, this holiday palette sucked. I hated it. The cream blush was god awful. This is a great departure, thankfully. And the two highlighters are great. There's one that's more of like a subtle slut and there's one that's more of like an intense slut but either way you're getting slutty options and we love that. So this is a palette that I keep reaching for and I'm actually shocked to even say that like this is so good. Highly recommend checking this one out. And then last but not least we have Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the uh, beautifying face palette in the shade Pillow Talk. I don't know why I had to say it like that but I had to. You know this palette grew on me. Initially I was kind of like what the fuck is <laughs> <laughs> what is this bullshit? It just, it, it wasn't working for me. I wasn't getting any pigment whatsoever. But then I realized it was complete user error. I realized I needed a stiff brush in order for the pigment to show. I think if you use something wispy, the formula is like just too soft. You need something a little bit stiff to kind of get in there. But once you do, bitch, it's good. Now granted, there is a highlighter that came out, was it this year or last year? Honestly, time escapes me, who knows. But there was um, a Pillow Talk highlighter that I loved. I was obsessed with, still obsessed with. And that highlighter is like super intense, super blinding. These aren't as blinding, um, but they are more of like the demure slut. Granted, these are not as bright as that one, but they still do pack a punch. The only reason why, and I kind of struggle with this because I really love how this looks, right? At the end of the day, I love the blushes on my face. I love the highlighters. They are perfect in a way, they are. The thing that really kind of makes this more of like a amazing, but a mm, mm, is the price. I don't think it's worth the price. Now, if you get this on sale, Yes, then I say, okay, totally amazing, hands down, you're not worthy, whatever. But I think at the $75 price tag, it's like, I kind of wanted a little bit more, but keep that in mind. But the more I use it and the more I keep playing with it, the more I realize I do love it. It's kind of like falling in love with your best friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, okay, well, all right. I didn't realize it, but now you're here. So like, that's I'm kind of like on the fence about it. But in any case, I really do like the formula and the quality of it once you actually use the proper brush. So anyway, this is awesome. Moving on to bronzers. I have tried a lot of bronzers and most of them are just, they're fucking good. Starting with the cream bronzers. This this, where did you come from? The Milani Liquid Contour Conceal and Perfect. Where the fuck did this come? Like, this came out of left field. This is comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury wand, but at a fraction of the price. And I have it in the lightest color, Honey, which is really, really good for uncooked chicken. It's like more of like a neutral-ish, cool tone-ish kind of an option. It goes on quickly and easily, and it carves and chisels these modeling clay cheeks to give me the cheekbones I never knew I fucking had. <laughs> This is amazing for the price. I almost feel bad, like I should tip them. <laughs> like obviously I'm getting a steal here. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't think you know what you have. Here's an extra 20, thank you. <laughs> That said, speaking of another amazing product, which I mean, I can't even believe I'm fucking saying this, but the Say Bronzer, okay, I know, listen, I talk a lot of shit about this brand and for the most part, I still stand by it. But when it comes to this cream bronzer, where have you been all my life? This is beautiful, it's effortless. It gives you that vacation glow without the melanoma. Like, this is great. And it's one of the better cream formulas I've used in a long time. Always been a fan of the ABH cream bronzers. They're good, but their colors are so fucking off, like so off. And they always look kind of just yellow and just, kind of like jaundice on me. Not really cool. Not a good look for me. And this one just works so much better. It has a beautiful neutral undertone and the formula has like this wonderful velvet finish. It really feels like you don't have any makeup on your face at all. This is something I will happily repurchase time and time again. No wonder why this is always sold out. Now for powders, I'm still obsessed with this little Adept Cosmetics palette. So Adept Cosmetics came out with some face palettes and you know, I was a little disappointed with their lightest palette because these two highlighters are just way too dark for me. I like the formula of them, but I just can't use them. Them. But honestly, I don't give a shit anymore. Why? Because of this bronzer. This is a perfect neutral option and I wish they would just release this as a single. If they release this as a single, I will buy them all. 
<laughs> this is fucking great. I love that it's softly milled. It doesn't feel muddy or patchy. It just goes on so beautifully. Again, they need to release a single in this ASAP. I want them all. But the one that I was actually kind of really surprised with is from Nabla. This really reminds me of the Tom Ford bronzer. Not necessarily the color, but just kind of like the overall feel and look of it. It really gives that beautiful sheen to the skin without it being glittery. It's just, it's so pretty. And I have it in the shade Ombra, which is perfect for uncooked chicken. So just a heads up there, but this is fantastic. I have been looking high and low for a product from Nabla that speaks to me because all the eyeshadow palettes I've tried, I've never really liked. So I'm very, very happy that I finally found something that works for me. And it continues to work really well for me. And then last but not least, this is kind of a surprise, but uh, it's Jouer. I know, who would have thought little old Jouer came out of left fucking field? <laughs> But they released this little duo and this actually, which I'm kind of surprised about, this is in the shade Warm. And initially I was like, oh, I don't know if this is really gonna work for my skin. It's fucking great. It's not too warm. I would say it's kind of more on the neutral side. This is the kind of bronzer where a little bit goes a long way, but it blends and buffs out so beautifully. It's not harsh, it's not patchy. It works well with other products. The formula is great. It has excellent longevity and looks so seamless on the skin. I'm 37 and I don't want to constantly keep jerking off something for payoff. And I love this bronzer because a little bit does go a long way. And if you do add a little bit too much, you can blend and buff it out. So I love that I can do that without having to give it a reach around. <laughs> we love that for me because carpal tunnel, bitch, carpal tunnel is real. The blush is also fantastic as well, but the bronzer is the one that really kind of like stuck out for me and one that I continue to use and love using. Now, moving on to blushes because I have been a blush whore this year. I still love the Gucci blushes, they do no wrong. This is my second favorite product from the brand. The first one being their lipsticks, their satin lipsticks are everything. Then it's the blush, then it's the nail polish. There's something so beautiful and simple yet elegant about this formula. And it reminds me of Chantecaille in a way. I do have four of the shades and they are all lovely. There's not a bad one in the bunch. And it's definitely one of the nicer formulas I've tried this year. It's opaque and it blends beautifully into the skin and has amazing longevity. And I need them all and slowly but surely, I will have them all. They're totally worth the splurge and they're weighted enough where you throw them hard enough, you can get a felony. <laughs> we love multi-use products on this channel and this one does not disappoint. You know, I really do love this Nars palette. Yes, she came to me all fucked up. The pan just literally falls out. Yeah, she's a little fucked up, but she's good. She's actually one of my favorite Nars products. The blushes have this really beautiful baked gelée formula. So if you're looking for intensity, you're gonna have to dig possibly halfway to China. But if you like buildable formula where you can control the intensity, this is for you. You can get these motherfuckers intense. Like you can look like a French clown. And I love that sometimes. But sometimes I just wanna look like a more settled clown. <laughs> I love that I can do that with this palette. I have quite a few little NARS cheek palettes. This by far is my favorite. I really just enjoy this formula. It's easy to work with. While the colors are not super revolutionary by any means, they just work very, very well for my skin tone. The only thing that doesn't work is a highlighter that can go fuck itself, but everything else, perfect. I think that's what I love about like the Gucci blush and the NARS blush. It's the kind of blush formula that just completes the look. You know, when you're putting yourself together, it's like always that one little thing. It could be a lipstick. It could be the eye look. It could be the bronze. It could be anything, right? That's the fucking cherry on top. When I use Gucci blushes and when I use the NARS blush, that's the cherry on top for me. I'm like, oh, I'm ready to fucking slay the day, bitch. Okay. <laughs> and that's why I continue to use this palette. It's so good. I just wish it was glued in better, but whatever. Who fucking cares at this point? And then of course we have have about face, which is actually what I have on my face today. I picked this up initially because I secretly wanted that, <laughs> I secretly wanted that stupid little Prada bag without having to spend $2,000, okay? So yes, when I walk into Publix, I am a fucking queen. <laughs> I can't fit anything in it, but I love it though. I love it so much. So obviously I was a little out of my mind when I bought this because I was like, I need to have this. But I'm so glad that I did because it actually fucking paid off. These little cheek freaks, they're so good. Yes, they kind of feel like Polly Pocket. Yes, they kind of feel a little cheap. Not gonna lie about that. But the formula is so nice. Initially when you apply it, it's on the lighter side, but you can build it up. For a balm formula, this absolutely blends beautifully into the skin. And it's the kind of formula that just doesn't disrupt your shit. Like everything just looks so perfect. Usually I feel like I have to spend time like trying to like MacGyver my shit to look somewhat normal, but bitch, that does not happen here. The formulas just melt and blend so beautifully. They're like the perfect pop of color. I haven't found a bad one in the bunch and I kind of need this brand to release more. It's a got to have item that I got to have more of. And if they do release more, I hope they keep coming out with these fucking 
bags because I love these. These are so cute. But anyway, these are really, really fun. And again, for a bomb, usually bombs are kind of hit or miss for me. This, so good. So moving on to eye products, I'm still in love with Kaleidos. I feel like every video that <laughs> I use these in, I just, I won't shut the fuck up about it. And I can't shut the fuck up about this. This is so good. I love the Sugar Drizzle eyeliners, but when these came along, I was like, oh, okay. I still love the Sugar Drizzle ones, but I will say that they're definitely on the lighter side in terms of opacity. While they do work in the waterline, these I think work a hell of a lot better. These are definitely more opaque. So for me, my favorite thing to do is kind of making like a mullet look, if you will, where it's like business and the front party in the back. <laughs> so for me, I love taking like a basic bitch eye look and then just like adding a multi-chrome eyeliner in the waterline. And it's just like, oh, who, who's this working at the bank? You know, <laughs> I feel really just, just cool. <laughs> It takes a boring basic bitch to a fun bitch in literally no time at all. Love these. I also love that these have the best longevity. As someone who has very, very watery eyes, very sensitive eyes, eyeliners usually never work for me, right? There's like three brands that I swear by everything else can go fuck itself. This is now my number four. <laughs> I love that it takes like a little bit of elbow grease to really just get it out of the waterline because that's the kind of formula this is. Like it really stays in place. Love, love, love this. Need more colors ASAP. And of course, the other thing I want to talk about is mascara. And for mascara, babe, Tower 28 all the way. I used to solely fuck with Chantecaille when it comes to mascara because I was convinced that nothing would ever look as good as that mascara did. My lashes, while they have been on a growth journey, they require length, volume, and beautiful separation. I like seeing my lashes individually and not looking like a fucked up Cynthia doll from the Rugrats. And I'm gonna say this now, I don't think I will ever buy the Chantecai mascara ever again because I didn't realize I could find something that works just as well at a lower price point. This gives me length, this gives me volume, this doesn't clump, this doesn't transfer, this doesn't fall. This is not messy. This is also great for sensitive eyes. So if you're like me and you have watery eyes, this is fucking perfect. Has great longevity, it doesn't flake. This is everything and definitely one of the best mascara formulas i have used long live tower 28 forever and ever and ever please release colors in this i would love that i need like a brown we don't even have to get wild brown's fine <laughs> Maybe a red, brown and a red, or like a mauve -y kind of color, fine. If you wanna make the whole rainbow, I'll, listen, I'm not gonna stop you, but keep doing what you're doing. This is fucking great. So moving on to eyeshadow palettes, Danessa Myrick, still loving this one. This is excellent for anyone that's interested in buying multi-chromes. Yes, it is at a high price point, but I think for what you're getting, it's worth the money. There are a lot of different finishes, a lot of different colors. These ones in the center, it's so funny. Initially, I was kind of like, okay, like I like them, but I actually am really, really, really enjoying them. They're water activated, they're cool. And they're actually quite user-friendly. So if you ever wanted to try multi-chromes, but you didn't want to kind of get bogged down by so many brands that are out there that have singles, this is like the perfect palette. This is still so fucking good. Love it. Like I mentioned before, Natasha Denona Dream Palette. Like, I mean, I, I can't even believe, I can't even believe what I'm saying. <laughs> This is an incredibly basic palette, but it has an incredible formula. And there's also like a little baby multi-chrome in there too. That's actually not bad. It's not the best multi-chrome formula, but I say it's pretty solid though. This palette is incredibly basic and one that I can't even believe that I constantly actually reach for. There's something really beautiful about like kind of like these peachy tones and then you have like these purples that are actually really good. They don't irritate your eyes and have really, really good longevity. And I do love the blackest black as a liner. I'm still loving the shit out of this palette and Dare I say this might be um, up there in terms of like favorite Natasha Denona palettes. This is really, really good. And again, a testament to how that whole collection, there's just not a dud in the bunch. It's just not possible. I feel like people are gonna make fun of me, but <laughs> I really like this palette. So this is the One Size Fantasia palette. Listen, she is not much to look at. I recognize that. But there is something that is just so fucking beautiful about this formula. So you have, your eyeshadows are gonna be here. The mattes are incredibly pigmented. They work very well together. This is like a basic bitch foolproof color story. The mattes are buttery. The metallics are metallic. Like they just work so well together. And the reason why I wanted to pick this up was for the blushes and the blushes don't disappoint. But you have these shades up here that are technically toppers. Don't, they're not toppers. Don't treat them as toppers, it, that's stupid. Use them as highlighters. This is basically like an all around face palette. It's fucking great. This, ugh, as a highlighter, are you fucking, are you kidding me? They're so good. I'm actually just really surprised. I'm really surprised, which I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it because I feel like my lines are blowing it out. But there's one that's just like a really beautiful, like just stark kind of like shimmery white. And then you have like this really beautiful like white pink shade. It's just so good. The whole palette's so good. Yes, this is very boring and very basic. And she's 
definitely the geeky girl that took off her glasses and now she's like the hot girl. <laughs> That's for damn sure. But the quality in this palette is just so fucking solid. It's so good. I, I can't get enough. When it comes to one size, they're really good with bronzers and stuff. And I'm so glad that when I picked this up, I was like, okay, listen, if everything else fails, I will at least have the blushes. And I'm so thankful that is not the case here. That the eyeshadow is actually really fucking good. And it kind of makes me want to get the other palette, which granted the reason why I never wanted that palette is because it just, I don't know, it, it never really tickled my fucking pickle. It just kind of looked basic as fuck. But if it's anything, anything like these babies oh bitch that's so good this is so good i don't know why a lot of people don't talk about this brand it's actually pretty fucking fantastic so so yeah so i still have been loving the shit out of this this is actually one of my go-to palettes for when i need something super fast and i need to look like a million bucks like this is this is it i know not much to look at i know but it's fucking everything it's so good and before i move to indie i do want to talk about this palette and it's from urban decay listen i absolutely adore this urban decay naked palette this is fucking so good it's a bit basic, yes. It's very, very basic. But the quality is so much better than some of the recent Urban Decay releases. I think if you had to pick this or the Hulk, this wins tenfold. The mattes are pigmented, they blend like a dream. The shimmers are actually kind of metallic. It's kind of impressive how incredibly pigmented these little shimmers are. I'm so used to them being more on the lighter side that when I see them so opaque, it's kind of fucking shocking. <laughs> I feel like as of late, like Urban Decay kind of has been like the king of lighter makeup. So this is just such a pleasant surprise. It's almost as if they're going back to their roots with this one. And this is the Urban Decay that I remember loving. And I can only hope that in 2023, they continue with this and less of the stuff that they've been doing. Granted, I still love my Cyber Palette, but I think when I hold this next to that, I'm like, oh, this is obviously the clear fucking winner. So this is another palette that I just keep, keep playing with. It's so good. And actually another palette kind of very similar to the Fantasia palette. Palette. quick and easy it's everything that you fucking need you can get a lot of looks out of this one and the quality is just so stunning yeah you know i can't believe it i can't believe what i'm saying either so moving on to indie brands because i've tried a lot of indie palettes and i have to say i, I love them all i really do i'm uh, moving on to indie palettes because there are a lot of them i'm gonna start with uh belly 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 beauty bar belly beauty bar that's your new name now bella beauty bar <laughs> This is a newer brand to me. And it started with the Celestial Garden palette. This is the M. Jones palette. This is fucking great. And this was like such a nice invitation to the brand because I really love their shimmers. I think they're fantastic. Their mattes are really good. But I think what is the thing that kind of sold me was these cake liners. Cake liners are something that I always thought were gonna be something that never worked for me because I have watery eyes. The quality on these babies are so good. Love that. Still loving this palette. And of course, their shimmers and their multi-chromes, they're fun. They're really fucking fun and I love the strange and unusual palette this is technically my second favorite Halloween palette the first one will I'll show you that in a minute but this one was fucking great it had really good finishes it had a great color story has incredible longevity I love their multi chromes their multi chromes are very very beautiful they do not disappoint they're like super super bright like so beautiful I know I talked about Danessa Myricks kind of being a, a brand to check out if you are like trying to get into multi chromes but I have to say Bella a beauty bar specifically this little strange and unusual palette has a really good range in here and especially if you like kind of like a spooky ooky color story this is perfect love the fuck out of this one and of course if you're ever interested in wanting to try anything from bella beauty bar i am affiliated so if you do use the code garbage you can save some money speaking of more stuff that i received in pr because actually all of this is uh, what i received in pr oh shit yeah all of it i received in pr i am affiliated with all the brands i'll just leave my code on the bottom here if you're ever interested in wanting to check them out the next one is nomad nomad cosmetics so the two palettes that i want to focus on is the sloth palette and the hudson valley palette i really do like both of these palettes and i actually kind of really like this palette mixed with the danessa myricks i kind of found myself doing that a lot when kind of going back and playing with it this is a really beautiful fall color story and i really love this section of the palette i love greens there's just something about a good green does not disappoint but overall this is just like a very very fun fall color story and being that i am from new york it's just kind of holds a special place in my heart but if i'm gonna be real here this is so good i love him and not just because he's a sloth but because he's a sloth <laughs> This one was so much fucking fun to play with. This was just such a fun color story. There were a lot of beautiful greens, a lot of good green representation. The mattes were beautifully pigmented. The shimmers were wonderfully sparkly. 
Like, oh my God, Green Mountain, yes. Wildlife, Wonderland, absolutely. Give me that hanging bridge. Like, oh, come on, girl. Like, this is so good. I just love how like light and airy and fun this one was to play with. And it continues to be that way. Nomad's another brand that I discovered too this year. And I'm so happy that I did. I picked up like the Haunted Europe palette. And ever since then, it's just like kind of been love at first sight. And now I'm super excited that I get to be affiliated with them. So I get to try their palettes. Um, and so far they have not been disappointing me. But if I were to pick between the two, I say this one's definitely a little bit more fun. Probably could be because of the sloth, but whatever, who gives a shit? This is fucking awesome. You know, I think what um, kind of sets Nomad apart is these beautiful color stories from these locations. I think they do a really, really beautiful job at that. And I look forward to seeing what they're going to be releasing uh, in 2023. Now for me, the best Halloween palette was Halloween. My little baby, Betty Jean, is at it again. This was just like the perfect Halloween palette. And I feel like this actually complemented my palette very well. I just feel like they are sisters and they belong together. <laughs> Also, I guess I should say, yeah, my palette does definitely makes a list, uh, no shit. Um, but whatever, you can't buy it anymore, so who, who gives a fuck? This though is so, it's so good. It's so good. I love the mattes, I love the multi-chrome, I love the shimmers, everything was perfect. And again, this was just a great Halloween palette without it just being like the overly black, red, and white bullshit that we always see. This was just like a fun take. It's crunchy and adorable and I just, I love it. It's showtime. Oh, we love a good green. And I actually really love the shade Crypt. Crypt was awesome as well. So super pigmented, so good. Anyway, I'm still loving this one, especially as a companion piece next to Teresa's Lethal. Another palette that I kept playing with too was the Sydney Grace one. This is the palette from Tina. This is the Tropicolor palette. Listen, if you've never tried Sydney Grace, like I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Sydney Grace has some fantastic quality and this doesn't disappoint. If you're familiar with the formula, then you know exactly what you're working with. The masks are beautifully pigmented. They're buttery, they're smooth. And the opacity is a motherfucking insane like this yellow bitch are we kidding me like this yellow is a good yellow especially like that in cane fields ah oh, combination of these two like send me for days but this was a really fun palette I especially love the blues that's the one thing i love about um like tina's curations is that she always picks like these really beautiful bright colors that are just they're so elegant they're loud as fuck but they're elegant though and i just i love sydney grace's formula like they really do not disappoint and like even thinking about the um, mel thompson bundle it's another one it's just like it's fucking phenomenal like these are really really good so do yourself a favor and check this one out too if you've been so inclined quality is amazing another great palette was from fantasy cosmetica and this is the bard palette this is another one that was just like a great little fall color story i think i actually like this color story more than the nomad one i really do love the hudson new york palette but i felt like this was just like a better curation of it if in terms of like being like a tight nine pan this is awesome and again another really great yellow fucking fabulous fantastic can't say enough good things about this. I really do like this brand. And again, another one that I'm excited to see what they're gonna be doing in 2023. And this one I'll just talk about briefly because you can't even get these anymore, but the Odin's Eye, the Christmas palette, phenomenal. So obviously the Christmas Eve one is my cup of tea. The Merry Christmas palette is fine, I like it, but I was a little bit more creatively stunted when using it, but the quality was still very, very good. But this palette though, this is the fucking clear winner here. It's so, so good. The shifts, the mattes, the shimmers, everything about this is just utter perfection. Still loving this. So if you were able to get them, fucking that's amazing. If you didn't, I am so sorry you missed out on some of the fucking best holiday palettes that have come out this year. Anyway, let's talk about the last thing because I feel like I've been talking for too goddamn long and I still have a lot to do today. So we're going to round this out with some lip products. You know, listen, I still love the Chantecai Lip Cheeks. These are fucking great. I know I talked about them recently in my Chantecai Black Friday video, so I won't bore you. You, but the formula on these are lovely. They're perfect hybrid between lipstick and gloss. And I think for me though, the thing that kind of came out of left field, Smashbox. Who would have fucking thought? I, a brand that I constantly make fun of and I'm sorry. They came out with the Masters of Horror collection and the Chucky lipsticks are so goddamn good. Both of them actually. So the regular Chucky one, which is a perfect basic bitch. That one's like a nudie pink. Fortunately, I just have the box in front of me because everything else is downstairs. <laughs> so I currently have it in my handbag, but this is fucking great though. But even the purple one, the Tiffany one, it's really good. I can't believe how nice the formula is. Like the formula is very, very smooth, very hydrating, doesn't bleed or bunch up into the outer corner it's perfect it's perfect and i wish that they released more colors and more basic bitch colors because i'm a basic bitch but regardless though i'm kind of glad that i got kind of this berry color because while it's out of my comfort zone fuck it who cares i'm 37 i'm going to do whatever the fuck i want to do and that includes wearing this lipstick <laughs> Love this. This is so good. Oh, um, it's not in front of me, but the Natasha Denona one, which I feel like I mentioned like six times already. Again, cannot stress enough that whole collection is 
perfect. Last but not least, uh, these Gorgeous lipsticks. Okay, so these are fun. The formula is solid. It's a really good hydrating lipstick. They're comfortable. They have really great basic bitch colors. This is beautiful. This is the hot dog shade. We're gonna put a little hot dog shade on right now. It's so good. But I think what makes them so much fun is their packaging. Like how fucking weird and quirky is it to have like a little hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> or a little egg roll, or a little shrimp fried rice, or a bowl of ramen. Like, they're so cute. So if you've been eyeing them, know that the formula is dependable, but really you're getting it because you want a little fucking hot dog. <laughs> These are so fun. And that's the other category that I kind of think about in terms of makeup, like how it makes me feel and, and the kind of emotion that I get when I use a product or hold a product. And these are just, they're fun. They're fun. They remind me not to take life so seriously. And I fucking love that. I mean, who doesn't want a baby egg roll? Like I'm hungry right now. <laughs> these are so fucking cute. I love them. <sighs> anyway. Jeez Louise, that was a quick recap, right? That was long, I'm so sorry. And you can see why this is like a fucking two-parter, okay? Cause like I am so tired right now. And right after this, I'm gonna go film the next part, which you'll see on Wednesday. These are the products that I have been loving and still loving and continue to love for the, for the past two months. And I'm obsessed, I am absolutely obsessed with them. So stay tuned for Wednesday where I roast this shit out of the other ones because they deserve to be roasted. Anyway, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you've tried any of these products and if you love them and if you hate them, let me know because I love hearing from you. And again, thank you so much to Blissy for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and to my beautiful, wonderful patron and YouTube members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting actually, garbage boat afloat. Couldn't do without you. Love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up so we can live inside my belly and be one. And it'll be a grand old time. If you want to know where to get any of these products, everything you need to know will be listed down below. I'll see you little pumpkins on Wednesday. Bye.